Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Juice Baseball channel. And welcome back to the defending, reigning, undisputed World Series champions, the Indianapolis Bolts. That is right. If you missed the last couple episodes, make sure you go back and watch them because we made history. For the first time in our franchise's existence, we won the World Series. And then in the offseason, we didn't really do too much. We just brought everybody back. And yes, that was pretty expensive. I will admit we are in the negative. We're in the red in our budget, but we can get past that when we trade Jonah Heim once he becomes available to trade uh, after June, I think it's June 15th or something like that. So we'll probably do it at the deadline uh, this year. So we'll get back into the black once we trade him away. But for right now, we are the defending undisputed world champions. We, writ we wrote the wrongs of the past by not even having to go through the wild card. Because the first two years of existence, we made the NL wild card and lost both times. This time, we didn't even have to go through the wild card. We went to the National League Divisional Series. We went to the National League Championship Series. We went to the World Series and we won everything. And we are the defending champions for the first time in history. HISTORY! That's right. It feels so good. Feels amazing. Absolutely feels fantastic. And this is the team that we did it with. Shane Bieber, Freddie Peralta, Hunter Green, Hunter Brown, and Paul Skeens. The defending National League Cy Young Award winner, by the way. I'm hoping this lineup can deliver just like they did last year. We also have Kyle Harrison now as a long relief guy because we uh, bring back Freddie Peralta who got injured for most of last year. Didn't even pitch in the postseason, was injured, only pitched in 13 games. But what he did pitch in, he was really, really good. So hopefully he can continue doing that this year. But we've got some fantastic players on this rotation and in the bullpen. It's the best bullpen in baseball, it has to be. And then the lineup, I mean, the lineup's pretty much the best it's ever been. Everybody is developing. Riley Green's had the best season he's ever had. I mean, look at these numbers he was putting up. These are fantastic numbers, and I'm hoping he can do that again. Tristan Casas, in his first full season here, had 38 home runs, a 307 average. I mean, he had his best season. Everybody has their best seasons when they come play in Indianapolis. I'm hoping Kyle Tucker can continue to dominate because he was injured for a little bit of last season came back at the very end and then uh dominated when he was back so i'm hoping he can parlay what he did at the end of last year into the beginning of this year and have another crazy year steven kwan got hit hurt at the very beginning of the season but then came back and played most of the year although he kind of went back and forth with our main man uh sal freelich who they are going to split some time in left field this year freelich will play against lefties for right now and kwan will play against righties so we'll see how they do in their respective roles Quan is one lower overall lower than Freelix, so we'll see if that makes any difference. I don't know. Our our bench is not amazing. I don't really like our bench that much, but I do like it because we've got Reese Hines, who is a rookie. He's going to make his debut um, probably in this episode. We've got Jefferson Cuero, who I really, really like. We've got Jackson Churio, who I like. Uh, and then we've got Andrew Vaughn, who's just kind of here. Andrew, he's just he's just kind of a guy. He's, he's just a dude. He's just a dude being a guy, and I don't know what I want to do with him. Because he's not playing first base now that Costas is here. He's not DHing because we got Kyle Tucker, we got Garcia, we got plenty of guys that can DH. He can't play anything really else. It says he can play second base, third base, or outfield. He's certainly not playing any of those positions, that's for sure. So he's kind of just a guy. Maybe we move on from him. He's not super expensive. As you can see, we are negative $6 million. But like I mentioned, we will get out of that, that um, negative money once we get rid of the $15 million that Jonah Heim is getting paid. But Andrew Vaughn, he's getting paid $7.5 million for two seasons. I mean, that's probably too much for a guy that I don't have any future for. 
I don't know. We'll have to play it by ear and see what happens. But we get to defend our championship starting in this episode. Now, unfortunately, we do have to go on the road to start the season against the Angels. But against the Padres, we will get to start our season and start our championship run. Now, you, you may have noticed our jersey changes. I did change the jersey slightly. We now have pinstripes on the sleeves for the away jerseys, and now we have full pinstripes on the home jerseys. You know I'm a sucker for, for pinstripes. I love pinstripes. I love the Yankee pinstripes. I love whatever team pulls out the pinstripes. doesn't matter if it's the Yankees or not. Whatever team can pull out pinstripes, I love it. So I had to incorporate those at some point, and I did. We tried the full red pinstripes on the black unis, but they just didn't. I didn't get the vibes for them. I didn't like it. So I just pulled out the, the pinstripes on the sleeves. I think it looks a little bit better. So that is how we are rocking with our uniform changes. I did change the stadium slightly. I couldn't change it exactly how I wanted to change it. I wanted to add a few different things, but I was able to put up a nice little 2026 in the stadium so people know that hey we are the world champions of 2026 so that is a, a new addition to the team i might show you in game uh, but yeah let's get it started here let's start season number four our defense of the world series we start on the road against the angels with the beebs on the mound we will jump in and play this game because it is opening day so i'm excited about that but we're not gonna like play the whole game or anything we're gonna we're gonna Jump in so we can get the opening day animations and all that kind of stuff. But we will uh, we will quick manage the game for the most part. We will see Shane Bieber on the mound. We will see all the good boys here. See if we can get the job done. Kyle Tucker, Adolis Garcia, everybody. And maybe we even get to see a little Reese Hines action in this episode. I don't know. We're definitely going to see him in this episode. Because I want to see all three of these guys. I want to see Cuero, I want to see Churio, and I want to see Hines. All in this episode. That'll probably come a little bit later. Once we get into April. But yeah, let's get it started here. Let's quick manage this game and see if we can start our title defense on the right track. is amped up ready to get this season underway as are we back with more in a minute hello and welcome thanks for joining us opening day baseball on the show it's the bolts and the los angeles angels Hi folks, John Chomby alongside Chris Singleton. And even though they're opening on the road, there's a little something more at stake because of the new city they call home. Yeah, and you know, their home opener is going to be the big event, but this is still an important series for them and a historic game here today. And when you're representing a new city, you really want to get the season off to a successful start. Yep, they're looking to give their new fans something to cheer about right away. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go. Starting on the mound in this one, Fromber Valdez. Yeah, ZRA last year was a little worse than average, so definitely. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Taking on the Angels on opening day, Fromber Valdez is now pitching for the Angels. And you know I got to start off with the juice. I can't just quick sim the juice to start opening day of year number four. We didn't start very good with that, that, that non-hit. That's okay, though. Look at that lineup. That lineup is crispy. That's a world championship lineup right there, ladies and gentlemen. A world championship lineup. Let's simulate a little bit here on opening day. Freelick gets out. Tucker has an error. Or somebody has an error on Tucker's at bat. How will the Biebs do? Will Shane Bieber be as electric as I expect him to be? Let's find out. The bats are not waking up in the beginning, but it's okay. We It's a long game. We still got a lot of baseball to be played. We'll wake up. Back-to-back -back walks is a good start. And the juice opens up the scoring with a three-run shot. That's what I'm talking about. That's the juice that I know and I love. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. 
Single from Casas, strikeout, flyout, walk. Morrell can't get on base. That's kind of annoying. But Bieber's doing a pretty solid job here. Single from the juice. Okay, we're not doing pretty good. My power hitters are not power hitting. Kind of annoying. They're keeping Fromber in here, even though he's down 3-0. Bieber's still got some real good energy. His stam is looking pretty good. And now they pull Framber for Jose Suarez. All right, maybe we can abuse him, use and abuse him. Apparently not. Oh, Shane Bieber is cooking. He's cooking with vegetable oil right now. He's being healthy. Adam is ground out. We got runners on second and third. Jonah Heim. Oh, that's why you're trading you. That's why we are trading you, big doggy. Strikeout. Two runs scored. Shane Bieber. I was hoping he could get through it. I was going to pull him, but I was hoping he could get through it. Can we add some insurance? No, we cannot. And I'm going to take Shane Bieber out of the game. No fault of his own. He's coming out. Devin Williams will come in, and we will try to end this game and end the hopes of the LA Angels. 3-2. to 2-1 two. Two, count to Corey Jolks. Don't really know who this man is, but he's playing in the big leagues. So that means he's an enemy of the state. Let's see if we can get this done. Come on, Devin. 3-1 count. Devin Williams swinging a miss on Jukes. It's now a 3-2. Do we think that he falls for the sweeping curve? I'm going to try it. He didn't fall for it earlier. He goes after it, but he sends it to Riley Green in left center field. Easy out. And they are down to their final two outs of the night. Mickey Moniak is hitting in Major League Baseball for the Angels. Man, these Angels are on hot times, daddy. Cutter foul hardly know her and let's hit him with a little sweeping of the curve Ooh, he doesn't go after it good eye good eye good eye let's give him some stinkiest cheese oh he can't handle it that cheese is too stanky for you he can't handle it that's a swing and a miss eddie rosario is the final man for the angels let's try to get him out on a cutter down low swing and he doesn't miss he gets a little foul to yep but we'll go sweeping curve. There's no way he can handle it. He couldn't handle it, and Devin Williams will shut the door on opening night. Beautiful. Picture perfect, and the world champions are picking up where they left off. They start their title defense 1-0. Only 161 more to go. Can we remain undefeated? <laughs> no, no, we will, certainly will not remain undefeated, but... A guy can dream, can he? And the juice is the player of the game, as it always should be with that three-run homer. The only three runs we put up in the entire game. Bieber gets the win, even though he allowed those two unfortunate runs. Let's finish up this series. Let's sweep out the Angels. Peralta with a bruised arm. Is Peralta just going to have a, an injury-riddled year again? Is he just going to be that guy who gets injured? I think he might be. The Reds are undefeated, by the way. So are the Pirates. But we will open up our new ballpark right here. We will play the Padres, open up our new ballpark with our new addition, the 2026 um, memorabilia in the stands now, in the, in the stadium, a part of the stadium. And there it is. You can see it right there under the Wall of Fame. 2026 has been added to the wall it is here. It is official. It is official. Hunter Brown will take the mound. Juice has got a league leader little badge right there. That's nice. I'm still going to keep the original lineup in there. We're not going to go uh, with Reese Hines or anything like that just yet. We will see them in this episode, but not just yet. And let's go open up our building and celebrate in front of our home fans for the first time as the defending champs. And here we go, going up against our... Uh, rebuild team the san diego padres but we won't be playing because we will be pitching around and quick managing this oh but machado opens the scoring with a solo shot that's not ideal hopefully we can bounce back hunter brown i need you to play good i need you to pitch like your life depends on it because it does i will feed you to the wolves if you don't do good we do take the the lead though two to one I think it was Christopher Morrell scoring two RBIs. He loved to see it. The Juice be killing it. 
And that's a two-run shot by Kyle Tucker. Oh my God, Kyle Tucker. I'm so happy we paid you because it is well worth it. Well worth it. Ooh, one run scored though. Abreu gets the job done. Padres are trying. That's Willie Adamez with a solo shot. Jamison Tyone cannot figure it out. He's in shambles right now. So is Hunter Brown, to be fair. Both starting pitches are in shambles. Steven Kwan? He hit the Kwan on you? A home run from Steven Kwan is crazy. Not what I would have expected at all. I think I'm going to take Hunter Brown out. I think I've seen enough from this big dog. We're going to take Kyle Harrison, who could take his spot, and we're going to see how Kyle Harrison does. Come on, Kyle. There you go. They pull Tyone, and they bring in Jay Groom. Or Groomy. I don't know. I think it's just Groom. All right, Kyle. What you got for me, big dog? There you go. Good job, Kyle. Ooh, but we can't really figure anything out, can we? Let's put in Crochet for the eighth. Oh, solo shot from Garrett Mitchell. Or, or is it Cal Mitchell? Who? I don't know who it was. It was some sort of Mitchell. And he didn't. He, uh, he hit a home run. Pinch runner. Strikeout. There we go. Beautifully done. Beautifully executed. Solo shot from Tristan Casas, baby. That's what I'm talking about. And the juice gets a fielder's choice. But a run run is scored on a walk. You walked the bases loaded, you fiend. That's crazy. It's 8-4. to four. The only thing to do is to put in Devin Williams and end this game. Xander Bogarts. He will foul off the first pitch. Pitch. And we will go cutter. To try to strike him out. We won't get it done just there. It's okay because what we will do is strike him out on the sweeping curve. Absolutely picture perfect. Devin Williams. Great job, big dog. And we might as well get a little bit of a closer look at the new addition. There it is. The Wall of Fame. The Wall of Fame. 2026 has been acquired the world series hopefully i can add even more numbers to that uh that wall in the future maybe even 2027 i don't know i'm hoping so can garcia make that no he can't it's gonna bounce right in front of him that's okay double play is in effect the double play is a possibility and it's manny machado who has a home run in today's game he will chop that one foul down the third base side and we'll try to get him on the cut piece. There it is. Oh, he was real late on that. I'm surprised he even made contact. That's kind of crazy. But we'll get him on the sweeping curve, just like his teammate. Oh, that's a double play. Casas fields on to second. Adames back to first, and that's the ball game. The Bolts win on their first game back at home. The Bolts? The Bolts be the Bolts be good. The Bolts be cooking. We're cooking with vegetable oil. We are being healthy. Willie Adamez is the player of the game. A home run and two doubles. Hunter Brown gets the win, even though he allowed three runs. I still am okay with Hunter Brown so far. Don't test me, though. Let's finish up the series against the Padres. We win the next game, and Bieber's got a shutout going. Oh, my God. We are just the best team of all time. We're 5-1. and one. We've taken over. We have taken over the division. And I think the juice is, is cooking. 478. Juice is hitting 478 as we start the year. I mean, I know we're only like two weeks into the season or not even, but I mean, that's kind of crazy, actually. That is kind of crazy. The double A team has 14 pitchers on roster. Why do they have so many pitchers? It's probably bullpen guys. They've probably got too many bullpen guys. How many? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. We'll take away a bullpen dude. It'll be this dude, Daryl Thompson. He can be a Class A dude. Why not? Okay. We've got Trevor Rogers in a tough situation. I believe in you, Trevor. I should not. Oh my God, nine to nothing. I shouldn't have believed in Trevor Rogers. My bad. Okay. First scouting assignment of the year. We should probably fire this dude, <laughs> but I can't because. We're already into the season, so we're going to have to go scout a prospect. You know what? No, 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 no. We're going to change things up this year. We're going to scout position. We're going to scout starting pitchers in the, the West. That's what you're going to scout. And then you're going to discover new prospects, and you're going to scout 
discover infield prospects in the East. And what you're going to do, you're going to discover new prospects, new pitchers internationally. That's how we're going to start scouting. That's how we're going to start scouting. Felix Batista is in a tough situation with the bases loaded. Good job, Felix. The Juice has got a 19-game hitting streak, obviously extending over from last season. I mean, the Juice is cooking. We win 13-6. to We lose that game against the Diamondbacks, but we win again. We are 9-3 on the year. This is awesome. Bieber's killing it. Peralta's having a great season. Hunter Green is about doing what Hunter Green does. <laughs> Although Paul Skeen's got an 8 one ERA. He's 2-0, but he's getting hit hard. Kind of scared about that. How's the lineup doing? Hines has hit a little bit. We will get in with Hines a little bit. We'll see him. I want to see both, all three of those guys, actually. So we'll go back home, probably against the Phillies here. Ooh, the Dodgers are 12-1. and My God. Devin Williams, tough situation. He got it done. Devin Williams, that's why we moved him to the closing spot. Scouting, 11 new prospects scouted. Two infield prospects and two pitching prospects internationally. Okay. Very interesting, I will say. How about you will now scout starting pitchers in the central. You will now scout starting pitchers in, or you will scout infield guys internationally. And you will scout pitchers in the, the east. Yeah, I almost did central again. That would have been bad. Okay, so we'll finalize that. And we will keep on moving along. Ben Vale, vale or Valet torn his calf that's not good can we beat the dodgers i would appreciate that dodgers are a very good baseball team and they beat us 10 to 9 okay so the dodgers are on a different level i think the, the dodgers are very good this is going to be a tough division race though if everybody stays hot this could be a four-team race in the division i don't like that at all i don't like that one bit and you know what it's finally time to debut the good boys we will see the youngsters we will see Reese Hines. We will see Jefferson Cuero. We will see the other dude. I forget his name. Jackson Churio. That's his name. I remember my players. So let's go. Hunter Brown will get the start. Garcia will be pulled out for Hines. Cuero will start for Jonah Heim. And Jackson Churio will replace Riley Green. And that is how we will do things here in this game. Let's go see the youngsters. All right, I didn't, even, I didn't even plan this, but it is, in fact, Jackie Robinson Day for this game. I wasn't even paying attention, uh, but it just happened that we jumped in on Jackie Robinson Day, so that's pretty cool. But we will see how Hunter Brown does against the Philadelphia Phillies. And we'll see how our boys do against the Phillies themselves. First inning, kind of nothing doing. Second inning, same deal. And here comes Reese Hines. We will jump in, and here he is, the big dog. Reese Hines will debut for the Bolts. Now, obviously, he's played a little bit. Uh, he's played a little bit on simulation, but this is the first time we've swung the baseball bat with him. They're 11-8 and eight right now to start the season. We'll see how they continue on in their year. And I just realized that we're both wearing white unis. <laughs> I didn't realize that. I don't know why we're both wearing white uniforms. They should be wearing their road unis, but apparently they're wearing their uh, their home ones. Whatever. Andrew Vaughn is playing. I didn't mention this. Uh, Andrew Vaughn is playing because Tristan Casas hurt his ankle in pregame warm-ups, so he's out for the day. I think he sprained it or something. So we've got Mr. Vaughn playing first base for the boys as he gets on base with a nice little shot in the left field. Good job there. We will see the number six hitter now. It should be Jackson Churio. All right, Jackson, what you got for me? You got anything for me? You got something awesome? Ooh, I probably should have swung at that. Probably should have swung at that. Come on, Churio. There we go. That's more like it. Jackson Churio into left center field. Andrew Vaughn, I'm sending him to third. Get on your horse, big dog. Unhook the plow. He's safe just barely. Oh, my God. That couldn't have been closer. Ooh, that's cl That was really intense. But Churio with a nice little double moves the runner to third as well. And now Adamez has runners in scoring position. That, unfortunately, will not score. I don't think it will score, Andrew Vaughn. I could try to go. I mean, oh, that, 
that was a really on target throw. I don't know if I don't know if uh, Vaughn makes it there. It's probably best that we didn't go. That probably would have been a very embarrassing double play. I've had that happen before. <laughs> I don't need to embarrass myself now. Oh, but that's a Christopher. No, that felt so good off the bat. Oh, that's a, that's annoying. That felt so good off the bat. I thought for sure we had that. All right, well, we'll try to get out of this inning. We had a little bit of good stuff going there. We will jump in for Jefferson Cuero. All right, Jefferson, you could be thought of as the future of this organization, so we need to see some bright spots from you. That's an annoying little pitch. I got jam. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's, okay. it's totally fine. It's totally fine. It's just the first at-bat. We're totally good with Jefferson Cuero. But now the juice... He has really cooled off these past couple of weeks. He was hitting like 400 when we first started the month of April, and now he's hitting like two something. So he has really cooled off, really cooled off. But that's okay. Because as long as the team doesn't cool off, we should be good. But it looks like we might be in a little bit of trouble here. Mick Abel is a tough nut to crack. Let's try to bust this nut in a different way. Let's try to think about this in a different a different way. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Reese Hines getting on base. I was hoping he could show a little bit of that pop that he's got in his bat, but to no avail there. At least he gets on base. That's a good sign. Nice little base hit from the youngster. Good job. And now it's Andrew Vaughn who's got a base hit. I did see on the bottom ticker earlier that Andrew Vaughn recently hit his 100th career home run. So congratulations all around to the big dog. 100 home runs in a career, not easy to do, but he's done it. He has officially done it. Can he get to 200 home runs? That's another story. Probably wouldn't happen on the bolts. Let's just be totally honest. We need to get a run going, though. We're not going to be getting anywhere if the bats don't wake up. Not swinging at that. Churio's got a good eye. Chario's not falling for that, especially not on Jackie Rowe Day. Let's get it done. Oh, I really didn't think I missed that, to be honest. I thought I had good timing. Good pitch from Abel. I thought I had better timing than that. That's not a good start. Oh, Hunter Brown, what are we doing here? There we go, there we go. There we go. Good job, Hunter. You got out of it. Solo shot from Adames gets us on the board. That's huge. That is huge. We got one run now. Now the bats can wake up. Now they can start rallying. Cuero's not swinging at that. He's not a numpty. Let's see if we can get a base hit. Bottom five. Abel's still in the game. Swinging at that little piece of crap. Okay, that's kind of annoying. I chopped it left. Let's see if we can get a better pitch here. Give me something a little bit better. Come on, you know you want to. That was a little bit better, but I was early. I was severely early on that one, unfortunately. What can we do this time around? Oh, that's a good pitch, but I missed it again. No! Ugh, come on, Cuero. Come on. Figure it out for me, big dog. Figure it out. Oh, that's another really good pitch. Cuero chops it to third base. Beat the throw, Cuero. Run, run, run. Just, oh just thrown out i thought he might have had it there i really did that's okay what's the juice got for me the juice has got a line drive into right field but it hooks severely foul okay whatever we're totally fine we don't need to worry about that oh my good gracious that's not what i wanted to swing at at all the bats are not really waking up when i'm on the sticks it's okay. Hopefully solo we can do something. Quan with a walk. Hines with a single. Love to see it. And a run one scored from Andrew Vaughn. There we go. Now we're waking up. Jackson Churio with the triple. Bases are loaded for Jackson, uh, Jackson Cuero. And our score on an error. And Juice gets a fielder's choice. And now the inning is over. Four runs in the inning though is beautiful. And Hunter Brown does a really good job in the seventh. Air gets Reese Hines on base. Sack fly RBI. Okay, Hunter Brown, I think I'm going to call it for you. We're going to bring in Gregory Santos and see what we can do. 
Craig Turner double, single, strikeout, fly out. Good job. Strikeout, ground out, strikeout. That's okay because we're going to pitching change Felix Bautista and get out of the game. And he does. Phillies lose 6 0 to the Bolts. Big W's all around. Huge victory. You love to see it. And Reese Hines, Cuero, and Churio both played pretty well, I will say. They all three hit pretty well in that game. All right, Casas, that's the sprained ankle I was talking about. But let's go and uh, finish the series against the Phillies. Let's, let's sweep the boys. Casas is back healthy. Batista's on the mound. He's in a tough spot. We win. Okay, let's see how the scouting is doing. 21 new starting pitcher prospects. Let's go. But only two more here. So the starting pitchers might be... We might be figuring them out. Yeah, we're finding a lot of guys that have been recently scouted. We pick at number 30 and number 34. We have a, we have, Actually, we have two compensatory picks or competitive balance round picks. We have a first round pick and a second round pick. So we could be coming away with some really good pitchers or some really good players if we scout correctly. So I'm going to change the assignment. We're going to actually start scouting individual prospects now. So we're not going to be scouting any of these studs at the top half. But we might be able to scout James Borowitz. Let's scout that that dude. We'll scout uh, somebody else here. How about we scout... Um, how about we scout Clifford Rock? Let's switch that. And then this dude will scout somebody else. Maybe he gets to scout... Hmm... Who should he scout? Who should he scout? Maybe Herschel Reyes? Let's scout him. Let's scout Herschel Reyes. Okay, now we'll go individual. Let's scout individual prospects. And can we sweep the Phillies? We have a chance to, and we do a four-game sweep of the Philadelphia Phillies. One-and-a-half game lead over the Reds. You love to see it. We're playing pretty well. We got the A's up next. Christopher Morrell pulled calf. That's not good. Okay. So he's going to be out for a little bit of time. Who's going to play third base in his stay? I don't really know. Probably. It could be Reese Hines, actually. And you know what? Let's give the rookie a shot. He'll play third base. He'll play third base for us. Well, the injured, it's only going to be like 10 days or something, so it's not going to be crazy. But maybe that can give Reese Hines a chance to develop a little bit. We lose one game to the A's. Not the end of the world, but it's okay. What about the Tampa Bay Rays? Bieber's got a shutout going, and we complete the shutout. You love to see it. Crochet, we get the win there. Oh, the boys are cooking. The boys are cooking. Scouting some more. We got 100% on Herschel Reyes. Okay, we know all about him now. Let's keep on moving on. We've got this dude, Brooks Love. We've got... Uh, I want to find somebody else that's got some potential, like Oren Cortez. There we go. That's a guy I want to scout. Let's keep moving on. Finish the series against the Rays. And we do lose that game, so we can't sweep the Rays, but that's okay. Because we take on the Nationals now. Batista's in a tough spot, but he gets the win. We win again. We win again. Jonah Heim, two home runs in the game. We win 13 to 1. My God. Uh, and he's still injured for a day or two. We're going to keep him on the 10 day just for now. How's Reese Hines doing? How's Reese Hines doing in his stay? He's hot. It's a good sign. He's hitting 340. Ooh, Reese. Don't tempt me, Reese. <laughs> Don't tempt me with a good time because I'll make you starter at any time. I will. I'll do it. Don't tempt me. Riley Green's cold right now, but he is hitting pretty well. I don't think he's ever going to get back to what he did last season with 36 home runs, but I expect him to be a little bit closer. Mm, Quan's hitting really well. Tucker's hitting good. Garcia's about the only one who's not hitting too good this year, and that's kind of frustrating if you ask me. So I guess the best we could do is take Garcia out and put Hines in. <laughs> I guess that would have to be a thing that would happen if if uh, Garcia can't turn it around. We will find out, though. Let's keep moving. We are going to win that game as well. Oh, the boys are good. 
The boys are good. Morel is back healthy. Okay, the Morel is back healthy, but does he warrant coming back in the game, coming back in the lineup? I don't know. I mean, you've got Andrew Vaughn, or Andrew Vaughn. you got Reese Hines, who's hitting 333 in his starts. I think we give Reese Hines the, the go-ahead for right now. Until he starts to cool down, I think we give Reese Hines the, the opportunity. I mean, that's only fair, right? We got 95% on James Borowitz. We're probably going to take him out because we're not really going to have any chance to draft him anyway. He was like ranked number 14 or something. So he's not really going to be in our radar anyway. Clifford Rock we will keep and Cortez we will keep. And we'll keep moving on. We beat the Cardinals. We lose to the Diamondbacks. Beat the Diamondbacks. And then beat the Diamondbacks. Okay. And that is where we will end today's episode. What a dominant beginning for the defending champions. We are 28 and 10 to start the year. 28 and 10 to start the season. Shane Bieber's pitching well. Peralta's killing it. Hunter Green's doing Hunter Green things. Hunter Brown's actually dominating. And Paul Skeens has started to turn it around a little bit. So the pitching rotation is unbeatable. The bullpen is fantastic, as you would expect it to be. The lineup we just looked at is really, really good. And Reese Hines, once he cools down a little bit, then we'll give the shot back to Christopher Morell. But for right now, I want to give Reese Hines all the opportunities in the world. I like it. We're a little bit cold, but we are winning games. And we are 28-10. and 10. That is where we will end today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave it a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I truly appreciate it. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.